Hello and welcome back to the channel. And I'm bringing you some more new content today. We're going to have a look at Ride 4. Now, Ride 5 is out, yes, but this was about six quid on the Xbox store. So I thought, you know what? It's a simulator. Got loads of options, uh, which we'll have a look at in a minute. But first of all, let's have a look at this. So we're going to kick off uh, by doing some races because we like races. Uh, I've already into the American League. Uh, I've done the license, got around about 78 points out of 120, which grants us access into the Rookie 300 Cup. Uh, so we're going to go into that reward bike is a Yamaha MT10 ABS. Uh, so we'll go in here. Now, as you can see from, as I've said, simulation, all these different stats we've got on the right hand side. It's well detailed. Uh, this is the bike that we're going to ride. Uh, we can also go into the dealership as well and uh, buy some different bikes if we want to uh, and start owning bikes. But for the sake of this video, we'll go with what the game has given us. Uh, which is that one and um, there we are so we'll uh, go with that and it takes us here which is the virginia international raceway south course and this is where we're going to do today's race so we're going to proceed so as i was talking about simulation if we go into bike setup uh, we can do all this kind of gubbins this is kind of locked at the moment because i've got it on easy because uh, i've never really been very good at these bike games uh, but i thought you know what um i thought why not let's give it a go for six quid uh and then you can change it as well you can change your physics simulation level uh, to realistic i've got it on simplified you can change your brakes to manual so as i said you can have it as simulation as you want uh tuck in you can have that on as well or you can control it yourself ideal trajectory which is your lines on the ground etc so we'll go to start here we go ladies and gents let's hope I do well I didn't do too bad in my practice sessions there we go right fingers crossed we don't fall off I'm just gonna follow the trajectory line uh, it's the easiest way I think fingers crossed we don't smash into anybody as well straight into this is actually where I've just been doing uh, my license on this course I had to get around in 2 minutes 19 I think it was uh, and I managed to do it with a few seconds to spare on about my third or fourth attempt so yeah it's not easy this game at all you've really got to follow those trajectory lines we got looks at it already I'm um, way whoa we get sent flying there absolutely flying by michael d'angelo the son of a nutcracker right, so we are now 12th out of 12 so we are playing catch up but what i'm struggling to do here is leaning in time i'm turning but not leaning enough to get around the bend you see the bikes sound absolutely fantastic as well they really do the ride five is currently out as well but that's about 60 quid at the moment and it does look incredible graphically as well uh, and i would have loved to have shown you that but unfortunately uh, my wallet won't quite stretch to that much at the moment oh there michael d'angelo has just overtook because it looks like this is going to be a bit of a race between me and michael here that's lean forward there are several different types of views you can, this view is quite interesting to take as well uh, i end up tilting my head though uh, it makes me feel a little bit queasy this does and i can't quite see where i'm going properly as you can see this one's quite a good one we actually uh gained a gained a uh, a place there as well we we actually took over ryan andrews then michael's overtook us again there we go so this is where we came off last time fingers crossed we've moved up into 10th position now let's see if we can gain a few more once again overshooting that take it easy over the grass probably get a penalty there as well for uh, taking a shortcut 
head around here again. I'm trying to imitate Ryan Andrews here in front of me uh, with his braking, his placement, his positioning, his leaning, etc. Obviously, we're going to have to overtake him at some point or other. Let's see if we can have him here now. But I do enjoy my racing sims. Although I'm not much... I'm not an avid racing sim fan, but I do like dipping into them now and again. I do prefer these more than the arcade uh, racers like you need for speeds, etc. But my favourite kind of racers are rally games, though they are my favourite. Colin McRae back in the day, which is now WRC, uh, which uh, was made by Codemasters. And now been bought out by EA. But yeah, this is uh, uh, this is so much fun. I used to have this a while ago on Google Stadia. It was part of uh, Google Stadia Pro as well. You got this game for free. And I'm not sure which number of ride it was. Was it ride one or ride two or ride three? I'm not entirely sure. Um, and I wasn't very good at it then. But I'm taking the time to to try and master it and get round some of these courses without falling off I mean we haven't fallen off yet apart from when we got knocked off our bike right at the start so I'm not doing too too bad at the moment took that corner a little bit too wide there I would like to get into eighth and we're, as we hit the gravel there we are faster on that lap as well than we were previously How many laps have we got now? This is our final lap. Can we gain a few positions here? Accelerating a little bit too early there. We come out. No, I don't think we are going to uh, gain any positions now. As Milton Aves Perez there flies off into uh, eighth position and we grab ninth. Not bad for our first race, I don't think. Not too bad at all. Uh, the guy on the bike doesn't seem too happy as he shakes his head. So there we are, ninth. Uh, so let's proceed. So we got five points for that. And we, we can restart it, but we will just proceed to the next race. I think the next one is a time attack. Music's pumping as well, isn't it? So let's have a look at the time attack. Uh, we'll go on the... Uh, on the Honda again. Should we have a look at see if we can actually buy anything? We've got 83,000 credits. Uh, there's a Yamaha YZF R3 2019 there. Now, I don't know how that stacks up uh, to our other bike that we've got. Let's have a look at the Honda. That's the one that we're riding now. So, acceleration 1, 2.53, 6.83. Let's come out of that again and have a look at this one. Oh, yes, this is a lot better. Do you know what? I think we'll buy this. <gasps> oh, look. Oh, I like that. I like that. That's pretty. Right, we're buying that. We've got the money. Why the hell not? And we get an achievement as well, ladies and gentlemen. First love. This is our new baby. This is our baby. Now, look at this. This is pretty. I mean... I don't like motorbikes. I wouldn't buy one. I wouldn't ride one. I was no good on a push bike. Yes, we'll set this bike as my default. All right, so let's come out of that now. So there we are. We should now be in this bad boy, or on this bad boy, should I say. All right, so let's give this a go. Let's see if we do fare any better on this. Now, Laguna Seki, you saw me race the other day in the truck, or the other video. If you've not seen that, I'll link it above where we were racing in trucks which was a lot of fun here we go first run out on our new bike let's see how we fare once the autopilot switches off oh this this bike sounds a bit throaty doesn't it right, here we go oh yes i'm liking this already this this feels so much better a little bit more control on this one but uh, we've got a long way to go yet. We've got to get round here in at least 1 minute 48 now. And I did some of my licensing on this one as well. Let's hit those brakes. Le start leaning in. I wish I could get this leading spot on. 
Uh, it would help so much. I, me I might need to change the sensitivity uh, on this controller. That might help me a little bit as well. Uh, within the game settings, not the controller settings. Get around here. So will we make 1 minute 48? Which will give me 13 points. That should help me qualify. We head up here. We're coming up to a really tricky part of the track next. You all know what I'm talking about. It's a bit of a corkscrew. It was a lot of fun to go around in the truck. How that will be on a motorbike, we'll find out in a tick. Let's lean forward, try and get some speed up this hill. We'll be up to 1 minute 7. And here we go. This is oh, he's fell off, ladies and gentlemen, and he goes absolutely flying. <laughs> Went for an absolute burden then, didn't he? Oh, dear me. Right, are we going to make our target time now? This is the question. We've still got a fair bit to go. I don't think... Sharp left. So, and then up to the finish line. No, we ain't going to make it. We are going to have to do this again, which is a damn shame. That's because we fell off. I mean, how slow were we? We were slow by about five seconds, weren't we? Okay, so we failed there. But let's restart. We'll, we'll try that one again, shall we? Here we go. Wait for the autopilot to go off again. There we go. Right. Let's try it again. Brake, 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 lean, 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 there we accelerate, out of the bend, there we go. If we don't do it this time, we'll do it in a different view, and we'll go first person. I'll see how many of you I can make feel queasy. There we go, brake, 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 lean, 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 there we go, accelerate, out of the bend, nicely done. I should have actually had a quick look at my sensitivity settings because I'm, I'm not very comfortable with them at all. I'm struggling a bit with it. As you can see, I'm leaning and I'm all over the show with the bike. I'll take this left here. Accelerate out of the bend again. Push forward. You really get a sense of speed though when you go in first person like this. The problem is you can't see that trajectory line very well. As you can see there, I'm pushing forward, I'm leaning now, you can see the, uh, the speed increase. You can really sense that change of speed. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, we messed that up, completely messed that up. Well, I'm not braked there. I've just took my finger off the throttle. So once again, way too wide there. I don't think we're going to make it again. Right, let's lean forward. Can we get there? 45, 46, 47, 48. Oh, we were a couple of seconds too slow. And what I'm going to try and do this time, I'm going to try and stick with the pack. Um, and use them as some kind of... Uh, what do you call it now? I forget what you call it. Let me know in the uh, comments what you call this, where you leave someone in front of you so you can, you know, use them as sort of a break against the aerodynamics. I forget what it's called now. As you can see, I'm, I'm steering clear of everybody. Apart from this dude here. You know, whatever, Trevor. Get out of my way. Not Road Rash, Lee. Who remembers that game? That was a class game, Road Rash. Here we go, around this bend now. A little bit too wide. Yeah, we're, we are trailing badly here now. 
We will catch up though. There's Michael D'Angelo again, everybody. This bike's not really helping me out yet, is it? We overtake those two. Accelerate out of there, Lee. Come on, let's gain some places. Let's leave Michael D'Angelo behind for once. Pain in the butt. Here we go again. I thought that said Jack Ryder then. But we had a celebrity motorcyclist with us. It was Jaden Ryder. It's a fortunate name, isn't it? We've written in the stars what he was going to be when he was older. Don't you dare knock me off my bike. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna hit the gravel. Nice change there. Nice bit of leaning. We did well there. We did well there. I was happy with that. Let's get on the inside here. Oh yes, we're doing well now. What we moved up to? We moved up to ninth. Can we get any better? was very widely very wide how does everybody else stick it so close like that there's me really struggling now well, coming to the end of our first lap now we've not fell off yet we're doing well here we go two minutes 27 there Right, here we go now. Let's uh, make some decent time. Well, let's see if we can gain another place. Eighth is our target now. We ain't going to get up into that top four. We know that. We ain't going to get into the top five probably either. But, you know, we can keep pushing. We're getting better at the game. I'd love to know how many of you actually play ride or play any sort of motorbike simulations. Is it your kind of thing, or is it a little bit too much for you? You'd rather stick to four wheels. It is very uh, tricky to get your head around at first with the leaning. It's not like steering a, a, a car uh, around a track at all. Yeah, head round here now, tucking it wide again. That's where I'm uh, failing. Taking some of these bends far too wide. I don't know if it's because I'm not getting down quick enough or I'm not going into too, too quick. I don't know what it is at the moment, but practice comes perfect. Michael D'Angelo's about a second behind me, which is a big enough gap for me at the moment. We made some good time up there then. Whoa, 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 whoa. Once again. Nicely done through that little chicane there. We have got a faster lap time now. And we've managed to stay off the gravel on that bend. So we are improving every single time. I just can't see us getting that eighth position at the moment. See, the acceleration here, we ain't going to catch them up. They're just as fast as we are. We're pushing forward now, trying to gain those precious seconds. We are keeping that distance between us and Michael D'Angelo, Jaden River as well. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's start to move over now so we can take this bend. Michael D'Angelo smashes right into the back of us. The son of a nutcracker drops us all the way back to 12th. This is absolute madness. Michael D'Angelo, you are quickly becoming a pain in the arse, my friend. You really are. Me and you, brother, you stay behind me. He comes slamming into the back of me, then knock me off my bike. Completely ruined my chances of gaining that eighth place. Now it's a race between me and Owen Brown. Mike and D'Angelo can go stick it up. He's Jaxie for his arm, as far as I'm concerned. As we head round this bend now, 
can't keep that tight enough round there. I struggle round that bend all the time. Here we go now, me and Owen Brown. Right, we're going to get him here now. Yes, 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 yes. He's got to take it wider. We got him on the inside. Beautiful stuff. Right, all we've got to do now is uh, keep an eye behind us. Because those pair of idiots, there's a good chance they'll come slamming into the back of me again. We hit the gravel. The trick is, is when you do hit the gravel, trying to get back upright as quick as you can. Because if you're leaning like that and you hit the gravel, there's a good chance your bike's just going to fly from underneath you. As you can see, we are actually slower on this lap now. I wonder why. There we are. Owen Brown's right. No, Michael D'Angelo's right behind me. Stand by your beds, everybody. With that tool behind me. There he's, he's overtook me, everybody. That was my bad, though. So we're going to go back on the inside. Oh, no, Michael D'Angelo's going to get the better of me. Can we get him on this straight? I don't think so. Michael D'Angelo, you son of a nutcracker. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> That's ride for. <laughs> Maybe I'll do it in the future once I've got a little bit better. But I thought I'll show you what I've been playing and what I've been up to anyway. A little bit more simulation. But yeah, this is a lot of fun. I'm going to play some more of it, try and get better. And then, like I said, maybe I'll do a little bit more of it on the channel if you'd like to see that. But thank you very much for watching. It really is appreciated. If you have enjoyed today's video, a new content drops onto the channel. But once again, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you all on the next one. Goodbye.